Hello, this is Ray, and I'd like to show you a little bit about pick-and-place hardware, particularly for the nozzles. So, originally, I had some really, really rigged up stuff going on. I was trying to put this, uh, this is an 18-gauge blunt needle, going to a lure adapter, going to a little piece of, you know, some rubbery, uh, you know, pipe uh, tubing or something like that, and I was trying to put all that onto this motor shaft. The idea is, this little needle right here is going to go down, it's going to pick up a part, it's going to spin around as necessary, and it's going to go put it somewhere else, right? We can assemble circuit boards this way. Yeah. It's not concentric. The needle might be, but this whole thing, there's just so much flex in it, it's horrible. And I actually thought that was going to work for a little while. I didn't test it, I just span, spun the motor a little bit, saw what was going on, said forget this. So yeah, I was trying to put that on the motor, I had these two pieces clamping it, had some zip ties securing that, and then I had this shell that was kind of going over this whole thing. You know? Like that. Yeah. Not very precise. So, as far as nozzles, if you look around, there's a lot of people recommending this nozzle, made by a company called Juki, that makes pick-and-place equipment. And maybe also sewing machines, or maybe that's another company by the same name. Who knows? They're probably doing well, one or two of them. So yeah, the 503 is a pretty good size because it'll let you pick up 0805 and 0603 chip parts. That's that. So how do you attach that, which has, you know, something between a 7mm or a 10mm head right there, to this, which is a NEMA 8-stepper motor with a hollow shaft. See, you can actually see through to the table. So how do you get these things together? You need a coupler, of course. Now, if you go to robotdig.com, there we have contrast, you can pay $30 US plus shipping, which I don't know how much that'll be, and you can get one nozzle of your size, see, you should get the 503, based on just what I said alone. Now, you should actually look into what you would need, and you get this little machined adapter here, which has the 5mm opening for the motor shaft there, and then it's got, you know, the uh, the other openings and whatnot, and a set screw so you can put your one nozzle in. And you can pay $30 for the privilege. Or, you can go to eBay, and with shipping included, get just the nozzle for $16.69 US, and 3D print this coupler. Is it gonna work? I have no idea, but I saw an opening, Frank from the Chili Pepper Group was very kind enough to actually purchase the one from Robot Dig and provide me the various dimensions required. I drew it up in Autodesk Inventor real quick, 3D printed it, which unfortunately I don't have any footage of right now, and here we are. It is on the motor. So let's try spinning it. See, it's double shaft, so here, by the way, is where you would get your uh, tubing going from your suction pump and your solenoid valve. That would attach onto this part of the shaft. And then the motor obviously spins, and you've got your nozzle on the other side. So I'm just going to spin this real quick. And I don't know, that seems to be pretty concentric to me. I mean, this isn't a loose fit by any means. I actually had to put this in a vise, and I pressed it onto the motor shaft while being very careful not to, you know, remove anything from the motor by means of too much force. So, you know, push there, push there, clamp that in a vise, done deal. This is working pretty well. There's also this hole right here, and this is to secure, if you will, the uh, Juki nozzle when in fact I get one. I just ordered this from China, so e-pack it usually takes about two, two and a half weeks. We'll see what happens. So I was able to get in there with an M3 tap, and I could put a little screw in there. Ultimately, you'd use a set screw, but I'm just showing this right here with the M3 socket, socket cap. So yeah, it threads in pretty nice. It's a bit of a loose fit, actually. So I'm not saying to use Loctite or super glue, but maybe some sort of wax or something just to kind of seal it up. Or maybe there's that, you know, that tape, if you will, that you use to wrap uh, when you install like a new shower head or something like that. So, you know, there's a number of ways to get an airtight seal on this part, but I don't even think I'll need it all that much. Because the Juki head's going to go right up until there, so it's going to go past the screw. And we should be able to get a solid airtight connection there. So that's that. Hope you enjoyed watching. If you want the uh, files, just uh, let me know. I have the Made in Inventor, there's STL for printing, other formats as you wish. It's all here.
and hopefully in a few weeks we'll get initial uh, pick and place hardware set up in Chili Pepper. This has been Ray. Peace out.